I'm Shelly Murray, Executive Sales Director here, Executive Sales and Training Director here at Forever. And tonight I've got Elizabeth Helsel on with me. She is the most awesome sidekick ever because she is so good at answering all those questions. She's one of our superstars in Forever Support. Uh, she is available at 888 Forever. Anytime people have any questions, she and an entire awesome um, support staff as well. Elizabeth, you want to say hi? Good evening. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Feel free to type in your questions in the question panel. I will work on answering those as Shelly presents this evening. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to take a pause and then we're going to get started so that we can start recording. All right. Welcome to Forever Basics. Tonight we're going to be talking about workflow how you can use forever in your everyday life to save, organize, and share all of your memories. So let's go ahead and get started. I mentioned save, organize, and share. And this is something that we train our ambassadors to do, to go out and help people to do just that. And that's kind of what I'm gonna be talking to you about tonight. Um, but please feel free to reach out to your ambassador um, to get more information, to get more help, uh, in this area. Our ambassadors do events like this all over the country and in Canada and New Zealand and Australia, um, teaching people how to do uh, how to do this, saving, save, organize, and share all of their memories. So that's really what we're going to be focusing on tonight. So we're going to talk about a workflow process. And uh, if you were on last week with Kamika Bond and I, she's the manager of Pixels of Pages, you can recognize that we have different workflow processes. So uh, the nice thing about forever is you really can use it however works best for you, but it is also nice to kind of watch how someone else uses it so you can get an idea of um, if that's how you'd like to use forever. So I'm gonna give you one workflow idea. This is actually how I use forever and, um, and a lot of other people do too. So let's take a look at how we save then organize, then share all of our memories, photos, videos, and documents. And I am going to tell you, I'm gonna do my best to slow down, because that's the feedback that I get often is I move very quickly. So if you feel like I'm going too fast, please type that in the questions box. And Elizabeth, you have permission to ask me to slow down, and I will do so. All right. Okay. Thank you. So I am going to try to take this real slow and one step at a time because the process is very simple, um, but there are some steps to it. So let's go ahead and take a look at each of the steps. So I'm going to tell you what it is, then I'm going to show you, then I'm going to tell you again and demonstrate. Okay, so you're going to get this several times. So we talk about saving. And again, we've talked about all of these pieces in chunks through the series of Forever Basics. So if you are stumbling in an area or have a question, you can always go back and watch the recording of that, uh, that session. And we can talk about where to find those recordings after I'm finished with uh, the presentation. When we talk about saving, we are talking about uploading all of your photos into your Forever account. They could come from your SD card in your camera, those photos, Photos could currently live on your hard drive, thumb drive, flash drive. The list goes on where your photos are located. But the idea is bringing them all together and saving them in your forever account. Also, uploading them from data disk. So if you have a DVD or a CD that has, forever, uh, that has photo data on it, then you can upload that into your forever account. Now, keep in mind, if you have used a company like um, Costco or um, Yes Video or Legacy Republic and or some of these places, they probably have sent you back a DVD with video on it. But those DVDs are only view only files. So they're not data disks, they're view only files. So you can watch them, but you can't extract them and save them into your forever account. So a data disk is one that has like a listing of your photos on it or maybe a listing of videos on it. So keep that in mind. If you have any of those outdated, if you have any of those DVDs with videos on them, they're gonna have to be digitized so that you can have the actual video file and not just the view only file, okay? 
All right, and we'll talk about more of that when we do one of these on uploading your video. Okay, the other thing you can do to bring in photos or videos into your account is copy them from other people's forever accounts. So if you have someone who's a friend of family in your forever account, you can go to their forever account through friends and family and, and copy some of their photos into your library. So an example, if you get together with a family member and do an activity, and then you know they had a couple pictures that you wanted, when you get home and they've already uploaded their photos into forever, you could go look at their account, look at the album with the photos from that event, and then copy the ones that you didn't get that you wanted over into your account. Bringing in other cloud service providers, photos from other cloud service providers. Okay, a lot of people have their photos in other companies like Google or Shutterfly or Dropbox, and we get questions. How do I get them out of these cloud services and bring them into forever? Well, it's not easy because they don't want you to take them out of their, uh, their, their sites, right? So that's not an easy process. But what I've done is I have added a handout under the handout section called downloading from other cloud services. And if you want to, don't look at it now, but remember to grab that and print it out. If you have your uh, photos in another cloud service, you could um, read there how how you go about that, how do that, how you do that. Okay, so now once you've saved everything and you've brought everything in your forever account, and of course we're going to be talking about doing this event at a time, or day at a time, or week at a time when I go through the process. Next thing you want to do is organize. So you're able to organize. Hold on, this again here. Okay, please don't crash on me, PowerPoint. We have, I have had issues with my PowerPoint recently. Okay, so when we're organizing, um, basically we are gonna use a forever storage account to do that. So we're gonna create albums, we're gonna add tags, and we're gonna uh, add a description or a story behind that photo. Okay, so we're gonna look at that. And then when we share, there's several ways to share. So you can share um, by just creating an album and setting the visibility so that others can see it, or you might decide to keep it private, but that would be one way to share. The other way to share is by creating a link. So when you create that album, you're gonna have a share link and you can push that out via email or copy and paste that somewhere. And then the other thing that's great about sharing is you can create a print project, and we're gonna show you that tonight too. So uh, in Forever Print, we've released canvases, which is so exciting. So we are gonna to talk tonight about how you can take all that you've organized and create a canvas very quickly. Okay, so let's wait and not quit because now I'm gonna show you a little demonstration. Okay, how are we doing Elizabeth? Do we have any questions coming in so far or are people following me? Um, so far just following you and um, you may wanna reiterate where those handouts are if you wanna do that while we're waiting. Sure. Okay, so if you are on the GoToWebinar control panel, you will see um, three handouts. And that is where you can get it. So it's downloading from other cloud services. Okay. Hold on one second. I'm going to text my daughter and ask her to please let the dog out. Okay, I apologize for that barking. Okay. So now let's go ahead and give you a demonstration of what that looks like. So we're gonna do the workflow process. Okay. Um, okay, you know what, I'm, okay, I'm sorry. Before we do that, let me just, okay. I'm gonna actually do a little bit more in this PowerPoint. I was missing one piece. Okay, so we've done save, we've done organize, and we've done share. So the next thing we're going to do is talk about um, our full library workflow. So when I'm saying bringing all of your photos together into the one place, oh, okay. All right, I'm sorry, everyone. So I believe I've turned my webcam off. Okay, I think there was a problem with my internet connection being slow, and so the webcam wanted to shut off. So you won't be able to see me now, but that's okay. All right, so. Full library, so we've got all of our photos coming in the library and the library gets full. What are we gonna do with it? This is a process that I like to use. 
I like to use the process of let's fill up the library and then we can delete the things that we don't want out of the library. So my idea is upload everything into Forever. You know, you've got your phone app set so that it auto syncs into your Forever account. So if you lose your phone or something happens to your phone, all of your photos are safe and they're in your Forever account. Um, you upload all the things we just talked about into your library. Then you determine what you're going to delete out of your library. And then um, you use the SOS sorting system to determine what to do with the other photos that are in there. So that's what we're going to talk about next. And it's part of um, my workflow that I use and a lot of people use when organizing their forever account. So this is the SOS sorting system. I'm going to explain it to you. Okay, so this is going to help you organize your photos that are in your library. So when you have a mass amount of photos in your library, you go through section by section, event by event, and you determine these four things. First one thing you're gonna do is, and it can be whatever order you like. I actually like to go with the delete first. So I'm looking at all these photos and oftentimes I've taken like five photos of the same thing, just to make sure I get everybody looking at me. So I'm gonna go through and delete all of the extras or maybe the, they're not really duplicates, but kind of the copies. Um, anything that I don't want is kind of a trash photo. Maybe it's like food photos I don't really want. Um, maybe I just took them to like post it on social media somewhere, but I don't really want it in my forever account. Could be shoes, price tags. You know, there's a lot of photos that we're taking these days that we just want to delete. So first go through and select all the ones you want to delete and hit delete. Those are gone. Then look through the photos and determine which ones you love. Find the ones you love. And I'll tell you what to do with them in a minute. Then you're going to determine the ones that you like, that are good photos. You like them. They tell the story. They're part of the memory. They may not be ones that you love, but they're important photos. And then there might be some photos that, like, are not really a good photo at all, but it tells a great story. Have you ever had a photo like that? I can think of a few for me um, that the, the photo doesn't turn out good, but the story was so great that you want to keep the photo because it, it recalls a memory. So now let's look at what we would do with each of these um, ideas. So again, the sorting system helps you efficiently organize your photos. We've got the love, the like, the story, the delete. Okay, so here are some suggestions for these photos. So the ones that you love, these are your best photos. You wanna tag them so you can find them easily. So you could tag love, or we use that word love just as an idea, um, but you could also tag it by the person's name, by the event, and, and I'll show you that in just a moment. And when you have these photos that you tag, those are the ones you wanna use in your photo books or your canvases. Those are gonna be your best photos that you're gonna to wanna to display, right? Frame, put them in a canvas, use them in a photo book. Um, those are your best photos. Okay, your like photos, again, those are the good photos. You wanna keep them safe in the library. They're very important to tell the story of what you were doing and of the event. But again, they may not be the ones that are your best ones. And those, you want to just organize them into albums in your Forever account. So they'll go into the album along with the photos that you love to tell the story of the event. And then the third one is the story. And I did kind of already describe that that's a, that's a photo that may not be a great photo, but it tells a great story. So, um, and it could be a story, a photo that is a great photo, but the photos that tell a reminding and a wonderful memory and a story, you're gonna to wanna to record that story in the dem description. And you're able to do that um, by just typing in uh, the description. I'll show you that right in the light box in the Forever account. And then you're going to want to share that story with others. So those are some things you want to think about when you're creating a photo book or, um, or wanting to just share that part of the story. And then, again, the bad photos you just want to delete. You select the un unneeded photos and you delete them from the library. Okay. So now let's go ahead and do all of the things that I've just suggested. Here we are. We are in our Forever Basics Forever account that we have been using since the beginning. I'm on the profile page, so I see my albums that we've all created together. We've worked so hard on and had fun along the way, but I'm going to go to the library, and I'm going to tell you a couple things. First is I just had a birthday a couple of weeks ago, and I've decided that I'm going to show you this workflow process with all the photos that I took for my birthday. And um, I brought in photos to my phone, and uh, that's what, what you see right here. In fact, I'm going to sort this by upload date, newest first, because I just uploaded all of these 
um, a little bit ago. So I went to my phone and I logged into this forever account, the demo account, and I just selected all the photos from my birthday. And you can see here that, again, I took like four pictures or five pictures of the same thing over and over again, just to make sure I get a good shot. And I'm sure that you guys can all relate to that. because I think that's just what we do these days. So typically in my forever account, my auto sync would be turned on and all these photos would just come right on in to um, my forever account. Okay, so that's one way to bring them all in. I wanted to show you again, um, let's just say that I have a flash drive that has photos on it. So I'm gonna right now, I'm gonna plug a flash drive into my computer and I'm gonna just show you how to bring in photos from that flash drive. Okay, so the ones you see came from my phone. I'm gonna click the green upload button and then I'm gonna choose files from my computer. And of course I can get files from anywhere here, my desktop, my document, but here's my flash drive. So I just wanna show you this as an example. So in this flash drive, I have um, some photos from our last ambassador meeting, some of our awesome ambassadors and Glenn Meekum, our founder and CEO. So I'm just gonna bring those in as the example, click open. Now those photos came into my forever account. I could upload videos and documents, should I choose. You can see the type of files that forever uh, accepts right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing, but at the bottom. Then I'm gonna click on done uploading. And now those photos have come in too. These are some of our great ambassadors. And then there's one, like I said. Okay, so now um, I've shown you how to upload from the flash drive, or that would work the same way if I put a camera card in on my uh, computer. I've shown you how to upload from the phone, what I told you through the auto sync. And now I'm going to show you how to go to friends and family. So let's say I go to my friends and family account. Oh, I remember I have all these great friends in here. Um, because uh, we all friended each other in Forever Basics one night. But here's Elizabeth, Elizabeth Hustle. So I'm gonna go to her account. And let's see, oh, I see pictures of my daughter and her daughter. I think we've chosen these before, but we could go through and look, Elizabeth's account, I can see all of her photos that are marked friends and family um, because I'm her friend and I can see all of the photos that are marked friends and family. So I'm gonna click on um, this album and I'm gonna grab some of these cute pictures of our daughters together. I'm just gonna click a couple of them just to show you the process. And I'm going to go to the very top and I'm gonna copy it to my library. And now all of those photos can be found. I'm gonna go over to my library. In my library, I'm going to sort by Upload date, newest first. And now I've got the photos that came in from my friends and family account, from my flash drive, and now from my phone. Okay, so now this is the idea of gathering all your photos into one spot. Okay, now that they're all here, the next part that we're gonna do is having a full library and using the SOS sorting system and determine what to do with all of these photos. So, if I'm working on uh, my birthday uh, album, I'm gonna go through and uh, first decide which ones I want to delete. So as I'm looking here, um, I know that it was kind of funny, but um, so let's see. Okay, um, this, I, this is a screenshot of some of my family calling me to wish me happy birthday. So I'm, I don't really need to keep that. Um, you can see I've got lots of pictures of Anna's face. So I'm just going to quickly click on the ones that I want to get rid of. They're very similar. Um, so you see my daughter is learning to drive. So that was an interesting and fun, fun time. So I don't need to have five pictures of her driving, right? I want just one. Um, here's a really cool uh, friend of ours who gave us a ride on the canoe with my dog. And that was cool. And I don't need all of these pictures of me with the kids, the one with the dog standing up. And eh, this is an okay picture. I don't need it. I don't need this. Oh, look at this. Anna Faith is paddle boarding. I think that's probably the best one. Of course, we took like so many pictures of me and the dog in the canoe, but I only need one of those. And then um, my best friend had us over for dinner, which was such a blessing. So sweet with my family. But of course, I don't need all of those photos either and blowing out the candles was fun. Okay, so 
as you can see now, I've done a pretty good job deleting photos that I just don't feel like I really need. And I've highlighted all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete. So I've just really cleaned out a lot. I'm, I'm deleting 29 of those. Okay. So now I've taken my birthday down to just really the highlights, I'd say. And there's some things in here that I really love. So um, what do I love? I'm going to tag the ones that I love because I know I'm going to want to come back to them later. So here's one tag I love to use. This one uh, and this one, these are our daughters, and that's me and my best friend, Stephanie. I'm going to just go ahead and add a tag. So a tag in my account that I love is BFS. Whoopsie. BFS. So I'm going to tag that. Um, another tag I love is my family. So here's a really good photo of my family. And here's another good one. And I always um, have a tag for us whenever we have a really good family photo. And I call us the Fab Five. And so whenever I need a family photo, I just go hit the Fab Five tab and there's all of our family photos. And then if there's a good photo of like um, one person, I may um, tag that. I love this one of me and honey. I probably would actually tag this one and this one, honey, in case I need pictures of my dog later. And um, maybe I'll tag this one for me since it's my birthday. Okay. All right, there we go. So now we've created tags. And then the other photos are just light photos. Like the rest of them are just ones that tell the story. Like, you know, you see we, we went on this little fun time to the park, we did a little paddle boarding, we went and had dinner, I had a cake, I blew out the candles, and then, you know, we had dinner outside, and I got a present, and it was fun. So, um, a lot of those photos are just light photos, so they're just going to stay in the library, but I'm going to create um, an album. So, and this is um, a screenshot of a Facebook post that someone had written to me that I just took a picture of it because I thought it was so sweet, so I wanted to keep that with the album, too. So, I'm going to highlight all of these things and I'm gonna create an album, okay? So I highlight them all, and then I'm going to click Bulk Organizer, okay? And I'm going to add the name of the album, and I'm gonna call it Shelly's 48. I'm telling you my age, not afraid of it, gotta own it. And then I um, could add tags, so let's just say Shelly's. 48th birthday. That way those will always be tagged and I will remember that. Um, and then I could edit the file name so they could be called, um, let's just call it August birthday. And um, how about I had a super fun day at the park and at the ferry for dinner with the fam. Okay. And then I can edit the date taken, the um, the um, date taken on all of the photos, but I'm not going to do that because um, the metadata in the photo is already there. So I already know the date of those photos. So I'm going to save the changes. And now, if you click on any of these photos, you will see all the information on the right hand side. And as I click through, you'll see that the name of the file is August birthday, the description's already there, and um, everything is there. Now, I could, let's see, let's see this one right here, so this is a really fun one. This is a unique thing that happened. So this is a story photo where we wanna tell the story in the description. So since I used the bulk organizer to do this, I'm gonna hit edit info and tell the story about this canoe. So we met this, I uh, have a really neat man who had a canoe and offered me and honey a ride across the lake. Wasn't something that I normally do, but I thought, huh, hey, it's fun, it's my birthday. And we had a fantastic time. Okay, so now you can see that that story has been edited and that's a memory that I wanna remember. It was actually really funny because I didn't know really where I was going and I was like saying goodbye to the kids. I didn't think I was gonna be gone that long. And uh, it, was, it was something that was just funny that we will want to laugh about and remember in the future. 
Okay, so now we've gone through that SOS sorting system and we've done the love photos, we've tagged them. Uh, the like photos, we've kept them in the album. Actually, we haven't made the album yet, but we're about to. <laughs> the story photos, we told the story and the description and then we deleted all the ones that were like bad photos. So let's go ahead and create that album now. And so I'm gonna select all of these and I'm gonna say add to an album, top blue bar. And I'm gonna create a new album. So I'm gonna click new album. And I'm going to call it Shelly's 48th birthday. Okay. Now, this is one way I can share. All right. So now we're talking about sharing. So we've done, um, we're, we're still in the process of, of organizing, but we're about, about finished organizing. So now we're going to be ready to share here in just a few moments. So when I click the album's visibility, I can decide to share it with friends and family or publicly. So I'm actually going to share this one publicly for right now because I want you all to be able to see the example if you want to get searched for it publicly. Um, but I'm also going to send you a link so I will of a photo, so I'm going to show you that too. But if you wanted to go search this publicly, you could do that by going to forever.com, and I'll show you that in a minute, and then searching for this profile, which is called Forever Basics Shelley. Okay, and then in the album, um, how about was a great uh, birthday celebration. Oops, I'm typing so fast. With the ones I love. Okay. And add to new album. Okay, so now we've organized this event. So if we go to album, you can see. Um, oops, you know what? I did. <laughs> I made a little mistake here. It wasn't really a mistake, but I created the album twice. I had forgotten that I had done that in the bulk organizing tool. So when we were in the bulk organizing tools, I created the album the first time. And then uh, I created it again. So anyways, let's go ahead and delete one of these albums. I hope everybody's following me on what I did there. So when I was in the library, I selected a couple photos and when I used the bulk organizer, I created an album right here. So I did create an album at the, that one time. So then I went back and showed you how to add an album. So I apologize for that. I hope you're still following me there. All right, so album, uh, Shelly's 48th birthday. And now we have this album. It's marked front, uh, public, so people can publicly search for it. Uh, so another way to share is I can share this whole album. If I click share album, by email, if I click email, I would go to email. I can post it to Facebook or I could copy this link and share this link with anyone. So if I copy that link, I'm just going to share it with you. And then I come down, I'm going to do to the um, questions box here. Let's say copy the link. Um, I don't know why it's not letting me. Grab onto the questions box. Oh, maybe I need to put it in chat. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I just sent you the link of that album. So that's another way to share that. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could click on that link and you could look at those photos. All right, now, uh, let me look back at my list here. Okay, so now we've shared it um, by creating a public album. We've shared it with the share link. Uh, now, think about that. When we created that public album, I could have just created a friends and family album and then just the people who are friends. In fact, I think that I'll probably switch it to that now. A lot of you are already friends in this account. So if you were a friend, you could go look at it that way. But since I shared you the link, you could see it through that link. Okay, now the last piece, this is not long. It doesn't take long at all, but here's the last piece. We are going to go do something really fun. I'm going to use my club dollars and I am going to create a print project. So I'm going to go to print project and I'm going to hit create a new print project. And this is all new, just released last week. And the canvases are a hit. They're so much fun to create. They're beautiful. I already have two of them because I ordered them during testing. But if I scroll down here, you can see I can create photo books or now beautiful canvases. So I'm going to click get started. And you can see all the variety of things that I can create with of a canvas. 
but I am going to do, look at how fun and cute these are. And we have more coming. I'm going to do four all occasions. I'm going to click get started. I'm going to make a 12 by 12 size. And then I'm going to click start canvas. And this is how easy and quick it is to make a canvas. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to add a photo to each photo spot. So now I'm accessing the library at the top, but I could say, I want to access the album I just created. And I could go right here to Shelly's 48th birthday and there's all the best photos uh, in the album. Or I could go to a tag if I wanted to. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick some of the best photos, the ones that I love. So I could go look at them up by the tag if I wanted to. So there's one. Uh, let's do this one next. Uh, let's see. Let's do this one. Oh, look how it cuts my head off. So what I think I would do is I want to put this one up here. So if I come back up here, I'll say replace. And I'll go back and get the one of me with honey. And then I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. And then I'm going to slide it over. And maybe I'll zoom out one. And then I think I liked it better zoomed in. And so I can really slide it over. Okay. Then this one, I want to go back and replace this one with, um, what was I thinking? I will do, oh, this one. That's right. And maybe I'll zoom in a little bit on that. And then this one, I'll put Stephanie and I, there we go. That's looking good. And then all I need to do here is put in my text. So I'll put Shelly's birthday, save changes, and then I'll put in the date, August 26th, 2018. And maybe I'll even change this and edit it so I can remember just how old I am. <laughs> Isn't that nice? There we go. I kind of like that. That's pretty cute. So now, how cool is that, um, that I can rename this. So I'll just call it Shelly's 48. All right. So now that's renamed. And now all I have to do is go add it to cart. So that is pretty fast, pretty cool, and pretty exciting. And, um, you know, I will say that always check these deals pages because we are always having some deals going on. So um, always check that deals page when you're looking at what you might want to make a purchase of. Okay, so how fun was that? That was an awesome um, way for us to learn uh, more about saving organizing and sharing. I'll go back to uh, that logo there. I feel like that was kind of what we talked about tonight, saving, organizing, and sharing all of your memories in forever. So that's it. So um, I'd like to open it up to questions now, Elizabeth. Do we have any questions? Um, absolutely. You actually uh, answered the first one um, by doing that uh, demonstration on showing how to add tags to multiple images um, at the same time. That was actually okay. one of the questions that came on, it came in earlier this evening. Um, we do, again, going back to the beginning of the webinar, you had mentioned Forever Club, um, and there were some yes. questions that came in about what that Forever Club um, was all about. So if you could tell us a little bit more about that, oh, sure. um, that would be great. Okay, so I would, if you're interested in the Forever Club, I would just recommend going um, to forever.com so that you can learn a little bit more about that. I'll show you where you can find that right here at Forever Club. And um, basically it is, um, uh, really we call it like the inner circle of forever. And um, when you join the Forever Club, you get access to a lot of new things, um, special sales, uh, we'd say limited edition swag. So, you know, there'll be, there'll be some options and opportunities that you have as a club member that other people do not have. We actually just launched um, canvases so that you can print canvases, but we launched it first to our club members. We let them have the exclusive benefit of having the first week of launch uh, to make canvases before we launched it to everyone else. Um, and then every three months that you're a club member, you uh, receive uh, free storage. So you can learn all about those details here. 
and you can join at any level of these levels here. And then um, it doesn't cost you any money to be in the club. You're just setting money aside so that when you're ready to make a purchase, you have money in your account, in your forever account. Okay, anything else, Elizabeth? Um, yes, I think an excellent question came in here, um, and it said, uh, once a photo is in an album, can you delete it from the library? And I think that would be a great one to answer for everybody. Oh, sure. Okay, that's, that is a great question. So, um, all of your photos are in the library. You always can go to the library to find any of your photos. And there's lots of great organizing, uh, filtering tools to find your photos. You can play around with those. But you can always go back and find any of your photos in your library. You can um, have photos that are go in albums, have them accessible in tags. It's not duplicating the photo, it's just pulling them to different places to be able to see them. But you always can go back to the library to find the, any photos. So no, you do. if you delete out of your library, you delete out of your forever account. If you delete out of an album, don't worry, you always can find it in the library. But it, it, when you're in an album, so let me just show you. If we decide we're gonna delete this photo, and then delete it. Do I think, ask me again, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, I want to delete it. Well, now it's going to move that to the, the delete then because I could accidentally delete it and be like, oh, I want to get that photo back. So um, it is going to ask you if you want it, um, if you're sure you want to delete it. And then if so, it goes to the delete then. Well, here's the delete then. So you click on the delete then, and then here's photos that you've deleted. If you want to get it back, you click on it and you say either restore to my library or delete permanently and we'll put Lori back in the library um but after 60 days that delete then empties itself so you've got 60 days to retrieve um anything that could be in your delete then um so i feel like there's some so oh i know i just want to show the filtering mm -hmm. tool because if people sure. want to know what has been put in an album and what still needs to be put in an album, can you show them how to filter within the library? To sure. Show that? Right. So I do want to say one thing about that. So I'm going to show you the filter tools so you can determine um, what photos are maybe not in an album that you haven't put in an album yet or that you haven't tagged yet or <laughs> you might want to see all your videos or just all your projects. So there's some great filter tools here. But keep in mind, um, your library can just be one giant container of everything, and you don't necessarily need to feel like everything needs to be put away. Not everything needs to be in the album or a tag. Although there are lots of Forever members who have their whole account cleaned out, and everything's either in an album or a tag, and their library, um, it, it, you know, when you use this, would be empty. So it just depends on how you want to organize. I do not do that. My library is like a giant bucket of stuff. And then I just pull out, um, you know, the best one. So meaning, if I did that, neither in an album or in a tag in my own personal account, I would have a lot of things here um, that maybe I just didn't put into an album yet, but I still want to keep them in my forever account. They're still liked photos. Um, anything else, Elizabeth? Um, oh, I know. See. I saw somebody say yeah. something. I didn't see some someone say that I went way too fast. I'm so sorry. I tried not to. But yes, you can watch the recording. So I just encourage you to do that. So let me show everybody where that is. So when you good, go thank you. to that was gonna be my next suggestion. Oh good. Okay, forever.com, come up to the top where it has a question mark. Click on the question mark. Okay. Then scroll down where it says getting started. And then Forever Basic. So here are all the recordings, the all 18 articles. Uh, here are all the recordings of Forever Basic by subject. So you could, uh, I will post right here, number 19, Forever Workflow. And you'll come back and watch that uh, at, a, at a later time. We'll try to have that up for you tomorrow uh, at some point. And thank you, Patricia, for the birthday wish. That was so sweet. <laughs> I had a great birthday. <laughs> all right. Um, okay, so I do have two other things I want to say. I did put a couple handouts here. So if you saw my handouts, I gave you three tonight. Downloading from other cloud services. I gave you um, the SOS sorting meme. So that was just a picture of the love, like, um, story, and delete. So that's there. 
And then I gave you the print canvas card. So this is something that's new. It's like a little recipe card, uh, but it shows you how to quickly and easily make a canvas. So I just thought, even though I showed you the process, maybe you might want to take this along with you um, so that you can go create a canvas yourself and learn how to do it in just five quick and easy steps. So I encourage you to do that. It is a fun thing. I have to say, um, I, I wish I could turn my, my uh, webcam around, but I created this giant canvas and it has a bunch of family photos on it. It's hanging right in front of me right now, but my webcam's up and it's huge and I love it. It is so great. The pictures are just um, so vibrant and it just looks so beautiful hanging on the wall. And it was really fun to make too. And uh, so I encourage you to make a canvas. All right. Anything else, Elizabeth? There are some still um, some issues of, of people not being able to find the handouts. Um, I have made the suggestion oh, really? that if okay. for some reason you can't find those on the side, um, feel free to email me, um, send an email to support at forever.com. That's support at forever.com and ask for the handouts from tonight's Forever Basics. And I'd be happy to attach those um, to that support email and send those directly to you. So if you're having issues and you can't find them, um, but Jelly, if you want to maybe show us, um, I don't know if you can show us that on your screen or not, uh, where those are located. Okay, so, um, all right, so let's see. I'll, I'm going to take a screenshot because you're not going to be able to see this. But... Right, I don't think we can show your okay. screen, yeah. All right, so my screenshot should land right here. Okay, so this is kind of the bottom of um, the GoToMeeting panel that you probably have right on the right-hand side of your computer. And if you see there, you probably don't have polls, but if you see handout and drop the little uh, triangle, click on that, and then you'll see all the handouts there. So it may look a little bit different it's above the chat box. All right. Well, I'm just so thankful that you guys joined us. I'm still here. If there's more questions, Elizabeth, do you have anything else you want to ask? And um, and then we can we just stay on and answer some of these questions as well, as far as typing them in. Good, good. Um, a, a bunch just came in, so give me 10 seconds to read, and I'll see if I can okay. uh, send one over to you. Um, okay, again, there's some confusion with the deleting. Um, again, the, the question is when I'm in an album and I select to delete a photo, uh, I get the message that it will be deleted from all locations. Is it still going to keep it in the library? Uh, no, if you delete a photo and there's a red band and you're deleting it from forever, it will be deleting it completely out of forever. Not, It won't keep it in the library. So let's just look at this again. Yes, and maybe show the option to remove from the album, but not delete altogether. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, so if you're in a library, if you decide to delete in the library um, and you click delete, it's going to say, are you sure you want to remove this from all locations? So that's right. So the library, and if this photo happened to be in an album or a tag or a print project, it would, it would delete it. Okay, from all projects everywhere. Okay, now, um, if that's in the library, if you're in your album and then you go to your album and you choose a picture, choose this one, and you want to delete it. Oh, no, it, I'm sorry, there's no actual delete when you're in an album, it's called remove. So you would be removing it from the album. But when you click remove, it gives you the option do you also want to move it to the delete bin? And if you did that, then yes, you would be deleting it from the library, album, tags, and print project, and it would remove it from this album. So there's two different things. Oops. Great, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Oh, uh, someone's asking the name of the... Um, the Forever Club Facebook group, yeah. and it's Capital Capital Forever, and then uh, Club members. Capital Forever, and then oh. Capital C, and lowercase L U B Club, and then members. Forever Club members. So 
that's a club member only Facebook group. And it's really been fun developing some community there. We had a contest last week um, of creating uh, the canvases and that was really fun to do. And we actually have another contest that's going on now. So if you create a canvas, um, you have the opportunity, we're gonna do a drawing um, to win uh, the, the cost of your canvas back in the gift of advance. So essentially it would be a free canvas. And uh, we did that last week and it was really fun. And uh, it just has been neat uh, getting to interact with the club members and um, doing that in Facebook. And then also once a month we have a call with Glenn and uh, that's a live call at nine o'clock, uh, kind of kind of like this, but it's with Glenn and he's super fun. So that's really neat for you guys to be able to hear straight from the founder and CEO and ask questions too. Great, thank you. Um, Shelly, also the comment came in um, that somebody read that you can make canvases in Artisan and then be able mm -hmm. to change and edit those layouts and even add art. Um, can you just kind of mm -hmm. explain the difference between making it in Artisan and the new feature of making it within Forever Print so that they can see that there are okay. both of those options for Artisan users? Okay. So we did the last two weeks, we talked about Forever Artisan. So Forever Artisan is the desktop software that gives you the freedom and the uh, flexibility and creativity to use the template, but then also to be able to change it, add artwork, and make it your own. So that's one option in creating canvases and other photo projects. But Forever Print, which is what I'm referring to, is a very easy and simple way to take beautiful designs that artists have already done, our Forever Artists, and uh, use those designs to simply drop your photos in and add text. So that's what I was showing you here, and um, and you can take a look at whichever design. So you cannot alter these in any way. Uh, you just choose the one that you like, and you add your photos and text. And this one's one of my favorites. I just love that one. That's the one I have on my wall right now. So pretty. All right, so I think we're getting close to our ending time. Is, do we take another question or two? And uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. I think we're in pretty good shape at this point, Shelly. So as we near 10 o'clock, okay. um, I think we can go ahead and, and wrap up and say good night for the evening. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks so much for joining us. I hope to see you guys on next week. We're gonna talk about media conversion, everything media conversion, how to go about doing that how to tackle that box in the attic with your grandmother's outdated media. It's so important to get that preserved permanently. Do it one time and never again when you do it with forever. And, uh, and, it, it's, and it's valuable and I'm passionate about it as you can see because I know that stuff is deteriorating. Um, the shelf life for a DVD is only two to four years. For a VHS tape, it's like 10 years, eight years, something like that, they're all overdue. So. Anyways, we want to help you get all of those things safe and preserved. So join us next week to learn more about that. Um, and uh, look forward to seeing you then. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. It's coming. One more day. Okay. Good night, everyone.